Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release day. We've got Nick on the top camera right there, popping open some Stadium Club for us. Big thanks to him and thanks to you for getting in on the new release action. So on the second Wednesday, September the 2nd, already September, pick your team two 2020 Top Stadium Club Baseball. There's everyone who picked their team straight up. No fillers, no number blocks, nothing. So thanks everyone for getting into the action straight up. We really appreciate it. He beat me straight up. Pay that man his money. Remember that, Nick? You've never seen rounders? All right, so I'll do one. Nick will do the other 15. Big thanks to him. What are we looking for here? Two autographs per box. There it is, chrome parallels. The photography in this stadium club is usually pretty excellent. So looking forward to it. Oh, we got, oh, boss man loves shipping these. The oversized box loaders, it's his favorite, Nick. <laughs> Tells me he loves, he loves it. Let's take a let's take a quick slow look at just what the design looks like. Eric Zucchino, I like the lowercase design that they have this year. That's pretty cool. I like the the lettering inside those little bars. There's Gary Sanchez, red foil. Willie Castro, Yaz. A lot of excellent photography there, so this should be a boatload of fun. I think these red ones are relatively common, if I remember that from previous years. All right, well, good luck, everybody. Packs open real nice. Really like the design of this this year, just at a glance. I think the text is really easy to read this year. I think couple previous years, a little difficult to, I think the lettering was a little bit too small or the font was a little weird or just didn't really contrast well against the, the picture. Is there anyone in this break that's watching live right now? If so, what are you looking for? I think the big rookies, of course, like, like Bichette and Luis Robert have been selling pretty well. On the secondary market. Oh, Derek's here, that's right. He got last bought mojo with the Red Sox. Anyone in particular that you are looking for, Derek? All right, so just in the interest of time, we're gonna have to breeze through these a little more quickly. It's a great shot, although it's kind of hard to go quickly because there's a lot of great photography here. Oh, Heroes of the Zone. Got an insert there. All card shit, ladies and gentlemen. Aaron Saval. Oh, did they turn around the uh, short prints or the... Oh, that'd be awesome. Thanks, Tops. It'd be cool if they did. Nice Babe Ruth. Look at those old gloves. Daryl Strawberry, that's one of those foil cards. Sorry, Mets. Got it. Got a rubber mat right there to protect everything. We'll do an autograph recap at the end, too. I think these are a little bit different. Jameson Tyon will slip around. No, it's just a regular one. Devers and Xander Bogarts is what... Uh, what Derek's looking for. There's a Jordan Alvarez rookie. And Zach Gallen, that's our first autograph out of the gate. Rookie auto for Raymond and the Snakes. That was, uh, he's making a start today, I believe, Zach Gallen. Against my Dodgers, so up and coming prospect. There's Hank Aaron. So you can see those red foils are a little more common. 
and some of the other parallels. That's a black foil right there. That's a Karen check. There's some Mookie Betts, nice. Good show hat, good show chains. Dig that. There's Cody Bellinger who has a bit of a lat injury. Barry Larkin. Gold is the case it. There are two golds. Are there multiple case case it? There's Sam Hilliard. So the autographs aren't turned around. Variations are. Sam Hilliard for the Rockies. That's going to be for Oliver and the Rocks. There are two gold cards. Is this regular gold? Yeah, these are two Stadium Chrome gold cards right there. I don't think that's a case hit. Red foil, Michael Baez. What about this? It's a different chrome right there too. Jack Flaherty, black foil. Trout. It's a great shot against the, the arch. Danny Jansen, red. Oliver, what's going on? If you're just joining us, Oliver, spoiler alert, you just got a Sam Hilliard autograph. And from Dayton, Ohio, it's Mike Schmidt. Box topper. That's pretty cool. Second best third baseman. Second best third baseman of all time. Oh, Brooks Robinson would be the first best on the on the Mike Jasperson third baseman list. Let's get a few more here. Ross, what's going on? Got three more box hoppers back here as well. That's a great shot. What What is Ty Cobb sitting on? Is that an old car? An old Ford maybe? The early, the early bullpen cart? <laughs> Those Will Clark looking dapper here. Where do they get all this? It's excellent photography. Good show hair for Lourdes Guriel. There's our Luis Robert. First Luis Robert card. For the White Sox, Aaron Pettit. How much are these Luis Robert rookie cards going for? Just base. What do you think? 25 bucks a pop? 30 bucks a pop? More? White Sox are playing some excellent baseball, too. Daniel, what's going on? Wow, Jarrell, Ryan H. saying 25 to 30, and Jarrell says he's told two for 65. That's not bad. Oh, almost. Miss that autograph. There's Sean Murphy, rookie auto for the A's. Athletics. That goes to Raymond and the A's. And no, there's one baseball game in progress. We got the two baseball games in progress. No finals, right? Giants are up 6 1 on the Rockies in the middle of the fourth. And then Mets are up on the Orioles 2 to 1. It's Kerry Wood Red. So, working nine to five is that Dolly Parton? Yeah, working nine to five. It, it's a movie ba, ba, song. Ba, da, right? ba, da, ba, da, working nine to five. 
think yeah, it's, it's from a movie from I don't uh, think it's originally Dolly Parton from song. Working Girl. I don't think it's starring Dolly Parton. No, Working Girl with Melanie Griffith. Oh, <laughs> but did it have that Dolly Parton song in it? I don't yeah, think that's by that Dolly the Dolly Parton, Parton movie was Nine to Five. Oh. Well, that's where the song came from. Working Girl was Melanie. Where was no. Working Nine to Five? That's from the movie Nine to Five. Who's the song by? Dolly Parton. You think? I'm still saying the name of the movie. I thought it was Sydney Lauper. Mm. Yeah. No, she did. Girls, Girls just want to have fun. Yeah. Mixing up your 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 '80s pop songs, Jake Fraley. Is Rookie Dolly Auto. World still a thing? I think Dolly World's still a thing. Maybe maybe closed temporarily due to COVID, but. You want to go? Sure. It's in Tennessee, Kansas. I think it's Tennessee. It's in Tennessee. Tennessee. It's got to be in Tennessee. It's in Tennessee, right? Dolly World. There's Jake Fraley, Seattle. That'll be for Jason S. There's Walker Bueller. Should be coming. Oh, look at that. Good good bunting. What? Well, I don't know. You don't you always get nervous when their fingers are out like this? They tell you not to do that. Yeah, they don't. Walker Bueller should be off the IL in the next day or two. Roberto Clemente, Black Foil. Domingo Leyva, rookie. In the wings, Red Foil, Nico Horner. It's funny, nobody knows the other words in song. Yeah, working nine, two, five, something, 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 something. There's Mike and his granddad. Wait, so that's Giants edition, by the way, to, to eliminate the confusion right there. Mike Yastrzemski is on the Giants. Wait, so is it is, is it is that Tennessee, Derek? Yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be Tennessee. Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge. What part of Tennessee? I have a friend who lives in Middle Tennessee, so I could. Maybe go there, crash at her place. What's Working Girl? What is that? That movie? that's a Har Brad saying that's a Harrison Ford, Melanie Griffith movie. Like a romantic comedy. I'm assuming it's a romantic comedy. I've never seen Harrison Ford in that type of role. What? He does great. You gotta Take watch Sabrina. I've never seen it. It's a remake of the old Sabrina. The There's Louise Ruff. No, not the Teenage Witch. No. The uh, ABC Family Show with yeah. the black cat. Right. Uh, the t a talking black cat. Yeah, that's good. All right, Derek. Is it Middle Tennessee, East Tennessee, West Tennessee? I know there's a bit of rivalry there in the sections of Tennessee, right? Oh, Eastern Middle portion of Tennessee. I heard something that John Denver's West Virginia song mm -hmm. is not about the state of West Virginia. It's about the western part of Virginia. Oh, really? <laughs> I did not know I that. Did, I didn't know if it was true or not. I don't. I don't know if that's. But that'd, you know that'd be. West Virginia, the that'd be good. Team, that'd be good they trivia. Use it as like their celebration. Yeah, but but they're, they're he's really actually talking about the western part of the state, state of Virginia. Virginia. <laughs> that'd be kind of funny. I don't know if it's true or not. But that's a good. That would be a good one though. I I I'll keep telling that story. There's Dan Vogelbach. I think he got traded. That goes to the Mariners. Jason S. with that one. Colton Wong, Red Foil. Carter Keyboom, Black Foil. Aaron Judge, Can't Stay Healthy. Am I missing any Bo Bichette's? I feel like I've not seen any. I guess I've only seen two, two Luis Roberts, but once I see one, I'll be able to sp spot him. Sorry, Vlad Jr., Red Foil. Another Zach Gallon autograph. Is that a different... No, I guess it's the same. I, I thought he had a different picture in the first one. Raymond with the snakes. Yelich, Chrome, Chris Paddock, Black Foil. Let's 
What's up, Tony? What's going on? Yeah, I guess next year, next year's cards will be a lot of masks in the pictures, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they, they'll probably short print those mask cards. That'd be kind of cool. Just put a little biopsy of COVID in there. <laughs> relish. COVID relish. Oh, nice Tommy fam. Black and white orange. On the Kirk Cousins card. Just put the vaccine on, on the <laughs> short printed vaccines. By next year. Dude, the Rotis Chapman only got a uh, hundred for three games. Dude, he almost killed a guy. I know, he almost killed a guy. Joe Kelly gets like so eight, five, games. five games. Eight games well, appeal Chap down to five. Chapman, I don't know if it was really on purpose. Kelly had like ten pitches where he was kind of clear. Yeah, he, he didn't have control of the ball, Nick. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ironically, against the, the Astros, who they have a heated rivalry with. I love when pitchers are like, I just didn't have control of the ball. I was just wild today. Just one, one got away from me. <laughs> well, they'll throw one like to the left side at first to like stop yeah. There's Kyle Lewis. He's still, I think he's still raking, right? He might even be leading the AL in uh, in average, maybe. Who's the AL MVP leader? NL's got to be Tatis, right? Yeah, Tatis is up there. What about AL? Betts has some pretty good numbers too. AL, I don't know who who's our AL M MVP leader. David Fletcher. David Fletcher. Yeah, I try to ignore it. <laughs> There's Ches Long. Does he really? I think Mike Kostremski actually has like numbers that are comparable to Tatis. He's what about Shed Long, Mariners, autograph. A huh? couple Mariners autographs and a Kyle Lewis. Well, I guess Nelson Cruz has a great OPS. Hmm. He's also tied with... War. He's tied with the league lead with Luke Voigt in home runs. Huh. <laughs> They're not good MVP candidates. What about, give it to Jose Abreu. Hmm. Another Luis Robert. These all add up. Me, Jet don't. says Shane Bieber. That's what I was saying. But he's a relief pitcher, isn't he? Or is he a starter? He's a starter, but I don't know. He, he's, he's got a better chance at a Cy Young, right? When was the last time a pitcher won the MVP? Kershaw? Kershaw, I think. Didn't Verlander win an MVP? Or did Scherzer? Scherzer might have done an MVP Cy Young DeGrom came thing. Close, right? DeGrom definitely came close. Jet says Shane Bieber for Cy Young and MVP? <laughs> I mean... Shane Bieber has a 1-2 ERA. Jeez. And he's 6 and 0. I mean, I think if Shane Bieber was able to lead the was able to lead the Indians to a playoff spot, I think that might improve his MVP candidacy, but I don't know if that's going to do any. But I think Cy Young, yeah, he's he's in good shape for a Cy Young. There's Austin Nola. Aaron's brother, rookie auto for another Mariner autograph. That's for Jason. You gotta see what the betting odds are. That's where you know. You gotta follow the money. Yeah, follow the money. What are the Don't betting odds? Don't say I never say? gave anything, Joe. Whoa! Wow. I appreciate that. That's 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 actual Kleenex, right? Not even off brand. Wow. <laughs> wow. Nico Herner Black Foil. A Kleenex brand Kleenex. Corey Seager, red foil for the Dodgers. You have to what? Why? Something's off with your ear. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just done Yeah, it's done. It's Van Gogh time. Yeah. There's Mustakis red foil. Just have him bite off your ear. Yeah, what was the Austin Nola's now on the is now on the Padres. What was what I forget what that deal was. Was the were the Padres the only team to uh, get 
get trades? Like, I mean, everybody went there. Blue Jays added. Blue Jays added a lot of pitching. They got Robbie Ray and Ross Stripling and Taiwan Walker and they they like redid their pitching staff. But I don't know what. What if any other teams made big moves? Aside from yeah, trade to the Padres. I think Padres like traded like. There's like dozens of players involved in each. There's Barry Zito. Good guitar player, Barry Zito. There's, there's my Barry Zito trivia for you. Like Bernie Williams? I think Bernie Williams is like legit though. <laughs> what, Barry Zito is it? No, Barry Zito can kind of play. There's Xander Bogart's box hopper. That's a player that Derek was looking for. Yeah, Barry Zito's curveball was just insane. We got the straw man, Daryl Strawberry. It's a great photo there, nice. For the Mets, that'll be for Raymond. We've got one, two, three, four, five boxes here. One, two, three, four, five box toppers right here that will pop open. Those box hoppers, I don't know, can they be autographed? There's Lance McCullers Jr., red foil. I'm assuming they can be autographed. Probably really rare, but I'm assuming they can be. I'm assuming they can be parallels. And I would say that they're probably really, it's probably really excellent to frame. It's more of like a framing situation, I would say. That'd be a cool look in your office or your house, apartment, mantle, man cave, woman cave, whatever. Derek Dietrich. And there's Andres Munoz for the Padres. That's uh, Jason Price with the Friars. And there's Marcus Stroman, red foil. Lorenzo Kane, black foil. It's Mark Moore, remember that famous photo? It's Mark McGuire, another Luis Robert. I've not seen a, uh, and 68 out of 99. Bash, Mike Trout. That goes to the Halos, that'll be for Cascade of Sage. And the Luis Robert goes to Aaron Pettit and the White Sox. Hmm. Tony, uh, I would I would try contacting contacting us via the support button again. If you email, if you emailed us uh, directly, unfortunately that doesn't work anymore. You have to contact us through the support button now. There's Tommy Listella, Angels. He's traded too. Where did he go? Cascade with that one. There's Daryl Strawberry again, red foil. Sean Murphy, Black Foil. Charlie Morton, Red Foil. TJ Zook, Red Foil. All right, next box, good luck. Man, Shane Bieber, 1-2 ERA. You Darvish has a 1-4-7 ERA, he's 6-1. It's like he's back on track. There's Aaron Judge, red foil. 
Max Fried is also 6-0 and with a 1-6 ERA. Max Fried, maybe? NL Cy Young? Yu Darvish, NL Cy Young? I mean, I think, looks like, aside from Lance Lynn, Shane Beaver is far and away the best AL pitcher right now. It might come down to Yu Darvish and Max Fried. Oh, there's Andres Munoz again for the Padres, for the NL Cy Young. That's Josh Donaldson. What is that? That's different. Why was that flipped around? Oh, photographer's proof. That's pretty cool. Stadium Club Chrome, Jock Peterson. There you go. He's act He's excited. He's happy. Robbie Ray. He got traded too. He's on the. He's on the Blue Jays. We need a. We need a Stadium Club update. Set. Lance Lynn's from your hometown. He's had such an up down up and down career, but he's killing it this year. I would. I could have sworn that Rangers would have been would have traded Lance Lynn at the deadline. I think he has a year to go in his contract. I don't think his contract is very big. I think he could be useful for a team this year, but I'm surprised that he didn't get moved. Why is Karolina Pliskova down 1-5 to this Garcia girl in France? I might have her winning the whole thing. Uh, Jokovic is in there. They're in the fourth set. He's leading 2 1, so he should be able to win soon. <laughs> Alright, there's Jacob deGrom. Right there. Uh, if you go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, Tony, it's in the bottom left hand corner. Yeah, we've been trying to drive everyone towards that support button and away from the main email so the main email gets freed up for uh, main email stuff. There's Noah Syndergaard. So yeah, folks, if you, if, if you, uh, if you send us an email directly to our old email address, which is still active, but we're not really using it for customer service stuff, so maybe you may experience some delays in response there. So if you have a customer service related question, if you go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, bottom left hand corner uh, should have a support button. There's a, there's a Bichette right there. And there is an InstaVision relic right here too. So jazbeescasebreaks.com, bottom left hand corner. Um, and you'll have a, uh, you can click that, a little pop-up window will come up. Might work best on a desktop or a laptop as opposed to your phone. I don't know how it shows up on a phone, to be honest with you. The Tatis Jr. InstaVision will go to the Friars. That'll be for Jason Price. I think this is our, unless I missed some, this might be our first, uh, first Beau Bichette that I've seen, rookie card. I know he sells pretty well, just his rookie cards. That'll be for Coppola and the Blue Jays. That's a great shot. Tower, the stadium. What's up, Chris? Oh, they're not going to do anything for you? They don't even, they don't even give you points or something like that? They got to hook you up with something. There's James Captain Marvel. That'll go to the Pirates. That's going to go to Courtney Bishop and Pittsburgh. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's right, Tony. Oh, yeah, Jason has the direct email, too. You can add that to your address books. There's Randy Johnson. That must be. A, that's got to be a variation. That's pretty fun. No, maybe not. But 
Definitely parallel right here. All right, next box. Dylan Cease. I like that Carlos Correa right there. Yeah, we cheated and won a game. Woo, cheating. We knew what pitches were coming. Yay. AJ Puck. So happy that he cheated. Destroying the integrity of the game. Yay! Jordan Alvarez, and here's an Alex Young autograph. That'll be for Raymond. Alex Young, another one of the Diamondbacks up and coming prospects. Looks like they're retooling a little bit. That's Joey Lucchese. I think they're, uh, they moved some, where did, where did Archie Bradley go? Only benefit was Dodgers not winning. Wow. That's if you're a, uh, a dirty Giants fan, maybe. Only only dirty Astros fans would say that. That 2017 Astros team should just be stricken from the record. No fan of baseball can be happy with that 2017 Astros team. Reds fan, what do you have against the Dodgers? What have we done to you? Nick Solak. <laughs> Rangers, that'll be for Jarrell Taylor. We gave, we gave you guys, there's Ted Williams blue and you can see that's numbered right there, five out of 50. You guys have Kyle Farmer because of us. Scott Shebler. Uh, Ted Williams, Boston. That'll go to you, Derek. Nice. Oh, you're just sick of getting beat by the Dodgers 25 times. You're all right. I see. Dakota Hudson. Bubba Starling. Mike Trout, Red Foil. Chris Sale. That, was all, that uniform looks pretty awesome. There's Joey Votto, Trey Mancini. Two Anthony K's in a row. Remember, all card chip, folks. So, in case you, see, I'm I'm probably blowing by like a bunch of variations and stuff, but everything shipped. Be sure to look at the codes on the back, and then we'll try to uh, try to do that. Uh, there's no schedule, Tony. I still have to go through orders after this, so I can answer that pretty quickly for you. Nothing. I think there might be a hockey break coming up after this, but nothing else is sold out. No, it's all good, Tony. Rockies, autograph, another one for Ollie. Tim Lincecum, oh, holding a World Series trophy. Look at that Ichiro. Some nice warm ups there. Kyle Tucker, black foil for the Strohs. That'll be for Eric.
Nice chrome. Arch. Goldschmidt. It's a good looking one for the Cardinals. That'll go out to Cascade. There's another Beau Bichette. Labor Day, red foil. Adam's saying this set doesn't get enough love. The cards are awesome, yeah. I think I think people who really love Stadium Club really love Stadium Club. It might not be for everybody. It's a big base heavy set, but there's a lot to collect, a lot of different fun parallels. They used to actually go pretty well in the secondary market too. I think Stadium Club's pretty popular. Is Bryce Harbor good show hair for Bryce? Another uh, Boba Shed. That Boba Shed, by the way, went to Capola. He has the Blue Jays. There's Marcana for the A's. Tatis Jr. has been hitting well. These are fun inserts. Heroes of the Zone. Clevenger is now on the um, Padres now, right? So Padres looking to make a big run in the last month of the season, the last, what, 20 or so games. It'll be a fun race to the finish. There's Nolan Ryan, Astros edition going to Eric. Red foil. I like that bullpen card. Yeah, the Padres really did load up. Let's see. Let's see if that's. Uh, <laughs> let's see if that's more. Let's see if that's more quantity than quality, or if it's quality more than quantity, or vice versa. There's Maurizio Dubon, Giants for Ali. Big up and coming prospect for the Giants, my rivals. Jason S has the Seattle Mariners. He's got a few. Kyle Lewis is going your way. That's a little like home run zone that happens when he comes back into the dugout. It's, it's pretty fun. There's Lewis Thorpe. A little home run mush pot or something like that. There's Bryce Harper Chrome for the Phillies. Matt DeLeo with that. Jameson Tyon. Black Foil. And then we got one more box and we'll pop some more open too. Max Kepler red foil. Anyone I anyone have any idea what they're gonna do with playoff spots? Like for example, the Cardinals, right? Because they were didn't play for a couple weeks. I think they've only played like what? Twenty seven games total? Everyone else has played like thirty some odd game thirty five games maybe? Cubs have played 35 games. St. Louis played 27 games. But the Cardinals are in second place due to winning percentage, 519. Yeah, Ryan Gomez has been wondering that too. Derek D. still thinks it's still by winning percentage. There's Bubba Stra so if the Cardinals only played one game and they won it, <laughs> they'd have the number one seed. This year is crazy. Technically, yes. Yeah, I guess this year is crazy enough where, the, where we'll just have to let that happen. There's Lucas Giolito. Oh, Trent Grisham autograph. Almost blew right by that. Unknown. What's going on, Trey? How are you? Trent Grisham rookie autograph for the Padres. Jason with that one. I think they're going to try to squeeze in as many double headers as possible, but I feel like I feel like even then they might still be behind. Cuz I think they're behind like 15 games. <laughs> 10 or 15 games. I guess they can just load it up, but there's only 20 games that yeah. I guess that's what they're going to try. There's Sunny Gray. I guess I'll try to make up as many games as possible. Trent Grisham with that foil right there. What is that? That's first day issue foil. Got a first day issue badge on that. 
So that goes to Jason and the Padres. There's Alex Bregman. How bummed is Anthony Rendon <laughs> going to the Angels on their worst team in baseball? Although he got paid, maybe he's maybe he's like, I oh, get to live in Los Angeles, play baseball in great weather. Play next to Mike Trout. Oh, hi. It's Bo Bichette. Hey, Sean. Nice. There's Brian Reynolds, Pirates, Courtney with that one. How bummed is Anthony Rendon? What happened? Just he's on the Angels. Oh. Like, like, there's Brian Reynolds, Pirates. Like, he uh -huh. wins... He wins a World Series. I've literally been here two minutes. Wins the World Series. I, mean, I just, because I just passed by his card. Oh. Um, wins the World Series. This is just not like a blatant <laughs> shot coming in. I just passed I was by his like, card. I was like, what just happened? But it, the card was him being introduced. He's like on a podium and they have the big angels looking in the background. He's being introduced. And it's his press conference. And I was like, how bummed is he? Wins a World Series, signs a big deal, thinking he's going to play next to Trout and Otani and try to deliver more chips. And then he he's just on. next to them. Then he's on one of the worst teams in baseball, Could if not the, the worst team in baseball. Could be the Dodgers. <laughs> He'd be on a winning team. A winning team that can't win at all. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather have the chance. The Angels aren't even getting to the playoffs, and they expanded Listen, the playoffs to like three quarters of the, the league. The Angels <laughs> always have a chance. We just don't take it. <laughs> right, right. Neither nice. do the Dodgers. Good. Well, the Dodgers actually are in the playoffs, so. So that helps. Luis Robert for the White Sox, Aaron Pettit, and Kyle Lewis, Mariners. Jason, in case you're wondering, Sean Jaspi is a Angel fan. All right, there's Kyle Lewis right here. Are you doing all the, uh, the box loaders at the end? Uh, no, I, no, I've just been grabbing just stacks at a time and then okay. popping them open right here like now. Sonny Gray, yeah, Sonny Gray has to be up there. What a big turnaround for him. What Dylan Bundy? Dylan Bundy could be in the conversation. For Cy Young, I didn't realize that Shane Bieber was like Bieber has a 120 rush. ERA and is like six and zero. There's Shohei Otani. What about a, it's a great shot. Oh, look at that! He's hit a dinger off his countryman. Looks like. Anybody talk about uh, Trevor Bauer? Yet? No. What happened, to Trevor Bauer? Trevor Bauer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been playing well. I thought he would get. I thought he might have gotten traded, but maybe the Reds. I love Sonny Gray, though. I got him on my fantasy team. There's Chris so which, Bryant. Which Box card stand do we like better? Ignore the card. Is, is, it the, is it the flexible? The card isn't anything. I just put, like, any... Marin I just Marin I picked a normal flexi. card for my dollar bin, okay? Marin showed me the so flexi one. just ignore the card. I liked it. But do we like that stand better? From the better? dollar bin. <laughs> oh, my like God. That, do we like that stand better? What is that? Man? Or this stand better? I like the flexi one. Our logo will be on here. What do you like better, Our logo folks? Will be on so there's just naked. That holds it like that. That holds it like that. So the, the one, the one that has a pivoting arm, I feel like it's gonna break. You like this one better? I think that's better. These are supposed to be pen holders. Oh, uh, you don't like the pivoting I think arm that's here? Gonna break. This bothers my trifold. Like the more the more you use it, I feel like somebody's gonna. All right, Trey, be safe. It's gonna break. Well, like that flexi one seems more durable. I haven't touched either one of them, by the way. This is all just by luck. Yeah, but look, it snaps into place, and then you, it can rock. Like you can rock. Rock the, the baby. <laughs> Later on, um, he's in Afghanistan. Afghanistan, I think. Yeah. yeah. Ozzy Alves. You know that we got the troops supporting us. Yeah, it's awesome. Troops support us. We support troops. He popped in this morning when I was on. He's been, uh, he's been, he's been with the Jackies crew for a while, actually. It's awesome. Ryan doesn't dig that flexible one, so he likes the one with the with the holes in it. With, Ryan, that doesn't the, flex. You like the one that has the articulating arm? There's Hideki Matsui. Uh, this is break two, 116. Yes, I think you're you're Mike Hagen, right? Mm -hmm. 
Not at all. Um, this one for you. Oh, nice Kyle Lewis box topper for the Mariners. There's a better I look at the the home run little circle that they do here. A little duck duck goose maybe. There you go. That Matsui went to the Yankees. Eric J. And uh, what was the other one? Ozzy Albies, Chris Bryant. Ozzy Albies goes to you, Mike. And the Chris Bryant, of course, goes to the Cubs, Ryan H. All right, so we did five boxes. Here's the other, the fifth and final box topper here. I don't like the way that, looks like it's Jordan Alvarez. Let's carefully slide that out here. That other part doesn't want to open. There we go. Nice Jordan Alvarez. Big smoke blowing right there. Got the Spirit Girls over here. We got the Astros. Eric J with the Strohs. Nice Jordan. And here's a box topper. Where's the second box topper? I already pulled it out. I don't know. We'll, we'll do a we'll do a box hopper count at the end. Nicasianos red. We've got. Power Zone, Ronald Acuna. Not numbered, but it is a red foil. Remember, all card chip in this. There's Mike H with that one. Austin Nola, red foil. Sean Murphy, Mitch Keller, black foil. That, that looks, I like the little color tabs that they have right there. I think that's a nice look this year. Ken Griffey Jr., he has some ups. And TJ Zook for Coppola and the Blue Jays. There's Correa, red foil for the Strohs. Sorry, Cal. Curtain call for him. Shogo. Nice. Hustling out of the box. We'd like to see that. And Jake Rogers. Jake, Jake, Jake. Jake. Jarrell Taylor with the Tigers. Why is Carolina Pliskova already down 2-1 in the second set? What's she doing? I may have some financial interest in her success at the U.S. Open. Here's Dustin May, red foil for the redhead. David Ortiz, black and white, orange. Rolled as Chapman, only got three games for throwing 100 miles per hour at someone's head. Meanwhile, Joe Kelly. It's Rob Manfred for you this year, actually since he's taken over. There's Josh Rojas. <laughs> yeah, I am betting women's tennis, Derek. 
This is U.S. Open, though. Come on, this is like this is a major. It's not like I'm I'm doing like the the Indian Wells tournament. There's Josh Rojas, Arizona Diamondbacks, Raymond. I'm not doing some like, hey, here's like some small little tournament in like northern Italy or something like that. I'm not betting the Palm Springs Open. There's Luis Robert. Also, Carolina Pliskova is like a number one seed too. She's pretty good. She shouldn't be down to this French chick who's un not ranked. I like tennis. I, I grew up playing a lot of tennis, so I'm, I'm a tennis fan. Clayton Kershaw. Nice black foil. That's a good shot of the stadium there. There's Arenado. All right, see? Yeah. I've got a buddy who loves betting the ponies as well. That's in. There's Walker Bueller. Chrome. For the Dodgers, that goes to Capola, who's got my Dodgers. Um, <clears throat> Sheldon Nusi, red foil. Will the Thrill. JT Realmuto, red foil for the Phillies. It's going to go to Matt. Ted Williams, red foil for Derek. Ahmed Rosario for the Mets. Black and white, orange foil going to Raymond. I love that big apple that pops up. That always cracks me up. Jason Veritek autograph for Derek. To win it all. I just took long shot. Well, she's supposed to be a favorite. Carolina Pliska was supposed to be a favorite, but I bet Are on all the... of them actually in here. Is Bianca playing too? I bet on the American girls. Coco Goff and Madison Keys. Coco Goff. Coco Goff. But is Bianca playing? I don't know. Oh, is that the random? That's a cool photo. Yeah, that is a cool photo actually. Chrome Rizzo for the Cubs. That'll be for Ryan H. Danny Jansen. Was there a second box? Oh, there it is. Oh, I just pulled that one out. Oh, you just that's... pulled that one out. Yeah. I think I might be short a box topper. I had two boxes, but maybe I grabbed one early. I don't know. We'll, we'll do a box you, topper. You, uh, you know what? When I when I came up here, there was already a stack. Oh, on maybe the, I took that thing, already. Okay. And I op only opened one box and left that one. There's long Francisco Lindor. So you probably already had it open. All right, I took it then. Slide that trash can over here, please. Yeah. All right. Next box. What about Chuck Nasty for NL MVP? You keep hitting about 350. What's up, Brian? The baller. I'll be one of my cadence. Coco God. <laughs> Coco God. Coco Goff. What? Red, 42. Coco Goff. Is Chuck Nasty Charlie Button? Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, I mean, that, that guy's that guy just, I think he's still, still raking. He's a special man. Still raking. God, is he good looking with that beard? He's got a, got a good good show beard. 
Trey Turner seeing 368? Somebody the other day, we pulled a... Uh, uh, Soto's hitting 355. Seager, it's got Trey fewer Turner. games, though. Trey Turner, dual rookie auto out of Flawless. Oh, nice. One of our repacks. And somebody was like, oh, Trey Turner doesn't deserve to be on there. And I was like, uh... What? Trey Turner's hitting like 368 right is. now. And 133 at bats. <laughs> I was like, the guy's absolutely racing Sorry, he's not a household name, but he's raking right now. I was like, oh, you mean World Series champ? Yeah, champion? World Series champ. There's Willie Mays. Nice, with that sort of blue foil against the, the dark black and white sepia kind of photo. is all pretty awesome. Nice, Willie Mays, Ollie with the Giants. This is a nice one. Look at that. Numbered, too, 30 out of 50. Yeah, I do too. Those, those so little cool. like yeah, the color, really color like the, swatches yeah. or whatever almost looks like looks like a bear paint strip. Yeah, you're at a, you're at a paint store. Well, not bear. Maybe we gotta wait for a sponsor before you start giving free advertising out. You think the retouched oddly mobility? I think they look good. The classic photos with the coloring. I think they put a sepia filter. Oh, the Instagram sepia filter. Yeah. Oh, that Yastrzemski card is cool. We got a Justin Dunn. Dun, 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 dun. We got uh, going to Jason and the Mariners. Mariners having a lot of a lot of autographs being pulled out of here. Pretty solid. Conforto. Yeah. Can't waste my voice on that. <laughs> Golden, golden voice. <laughs> There's George Springer, Chrome, and you got a serial number here too. Not all of these have these. 80 out of 99. For the Strohs, Eric J with the Strohs. Not all these have what? Not all these have serial numbers on the back. The Chrome, the Stadium Club Chrome. Oh, okay. I gotta know what I'm looking for. Why? I never really do something like this. We might run out by the time. I don't know how, actually, I don't know how many cases we've got. Uh, we got Josh Van Meter. Stadium, look, look at the camera. Oh no, it's Sean's bad luck. And it's, I know, Ryan. You gotta do the cam link thing. Come on. I did it last night. Told you it's getting more sensitive, huh? Oh, so it's the first time it's happened to me all week. <laughs> or ever, actually, in months. So I feel like you're ruining it. It's just me being here? Yeah, just you being here ruining it. My negative presence? It just senses you're here. And it's just like... I'm scared of my big meaty knees. It just knows you're here. He you got scared. Do you do you hit it? Maybe it's frightened of you. <laughs> it hears my voice and it trembles. Yeah, it trembles. There's Josh Van Meter. Oh right, I gotta turn the second mic off. Damn it. All right, there we go. Josh Van Meter. Once again, all right, that's for Mike and the Reds. I know mobility, I know. Dan Vogelbach, red foil, Mike G. There's Mike Trout, chrome. Freddie Freeman. Luis Severino. How is Trey Turner batting that high with the 133 at bat? He's, Trey Turner's just locked in. Look at that. Look, look, look at those eyes right there. Perfect timing. Locked in. Just locked in. 
get lost in those. And he, he's locked in. He's just like. That baseball must look like a grapefruit to him. All right, we've got OBDM Dale Murphy. Nice with the the, the powder blue Braves unis. That goes to uh, Mike and the Braves. Why does he look like he's questioning whether that was a wet one or not? He's just like, huh? He's What's, like, uh, you know. Uh, might have to go check the pants uh, on that one. Maybe? Did I get away with it? Did anybody else smell it? Alright. Alright, next couple here. I don't know if they wear those blue ones anymore. I don't think they do. Like with the, I think it's buttonless too. No buttons on there. Jose Canseco. The pullovers are the coolest. The, yeah, the old pullover, almost like a V-neck sweater. There's Matt Tice. And the halos. That'll be for a Cascade. Remember, all card ship, and we will do a autograph recap at the end, just to remind everybody if you're just joining us, or if you're planning on joining a future break. Nico Horner, one of one. Ooh. Wow. In the wings insert, one of one Nico Horner. You kind of see the a different kind of gold, goldish, platinumish sort of uh, flavor there on the foil. Who's got the Cubbies? That's Ryan H. And there's the base version of it right behind it. Ryan H. There you go. You can see the differences. Right here, so you can see the silver look on that one, and the one of one has the gold all over it. Nice, Ryan. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! It's a great overhead shot of Jason Veritek. Kyle Schorber, red, and he's like, where'd it go? Where, where'd it go? Hi, Nick. Patrick Corbin. Jake Fraley. Nelson Cruz. Hideki Matsui, Chrome for the Yankees, Eric J. Here's your Heroes of the Zone, Shane Bieber back there, insert. Austin Riley. Yusai, Black Foil. Throwing Austin Nola. And Alex Bregman around. Sorry, Mike Brousseau for the Rays, Tampa Bay, Matt DeLeo. With TB. Matthew Boyd, red foil. Yoshi Sutsugo. Yeah. Do you want me to start doing that one with your book? Uh, yeah, if you could. You're done there? Okay. This this row right here. Keep it in that row right there. Sure. Well, speaking about giving it to the left. Yeah, try to get that out. Here. Yeah. Still, uh, sorry. This means I reach. Mm -hmm. Chapman. Can I get the first stadium series? That's done. It's down. Underneath there. So you, if you can get your own yeah, yeah, stack, I still need these over here. That's true, yeah. 
Josh Rojas, Raymond with the Snakes, Marcel Ozuna, Braves, I like how they flipped that uh, that one of one around, that Nico Horner. I don't think I would have spotted it if I was just flying through this break. Jeff Bagwell, nice black and white look right there. Orange foil for Eric and the Strohs. Justin Verlander, Heroes of the Zone. Looks like... Jason saying IG is down or not working, so if you're waiting for personal breaks, stand by. I'm sure once Instagram corrects itself, we'll be we'll be right back on. Stand by. Buster Posey, red foil. These full color foils are really nice. Nice Brandon McKay. Bowman Chrome or Bowman Chrome Stadium Club Chrome. Looks pretty sharp. That'll be for the Rays, Matt DeLeo. Starling Marte. Who was traded. At first I thought it was Kettle Marte who got traded. I was like, wow, time got trade Kettle Marte? No, it was Starling Marte. There's Babe Ruth. Dale Murphy. Black Foil. Ramon Laureano, nice autograph for the A's. Raymond with the Athletics. Willie Calhoun. Nice. He's like, oh, I caught that. The glove is kind of an issue for Willie Calhoun. He can swing it, though. He can definitely swing it. Bryce Harper for the Phillies. No, does Bryce no chain for Bryce Harper? He's got good show hair. Look at that, good show hair, good show shades. You know, getting the uniform dirty, but no chain. Guess he's not a chain guy. Sean, if you were a major league ball player, would you be a chain guy? Um, yes. Good call. And I'd be. A, I would do. I would do chain and headband. Chain like Bryce Harper. Um, does he do headband too? Yeah, look, look at the, uh, you'll see, yeah, I guess you'll see one. Did you see the Daryl? The Daryl, uh... So he's got, he's got that kind of headband maybe? Would you have that kind of show hair? Uh, no, I'd do the NBA headband, sweatband. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'd go, I'd go, uh, Charles Oakley. Derek, if you were, if you were a pro ball player, you'd be, you'd be all over a chain? I'd do a chain. Would you layer the chains maybe? A few gold chains, few thin gold chains, or one big thick gold chain? Oh, you know what? I'd do Puka Shell. You do Puka Shell? I'd do Puka Shell. I'd do a choker. Puka Shell wow. choker. Wow. Two chains at least, right? Two chains? This Daryl Strawberry shot you were talking about? This is yeah, a really cool shirtless. shot. Yeah, it's a good shot. Good photography. By the way, you were speaking of trades. What about that uh, Mariners haul for uh, Austin Nola? Yeah, what'd they get for Austin Nola? For a 30 year old. <laughs> but he hasn't been playing like 30 years young though? <laughs> 30 years and like they called, they brought him up last year. Yeah, hmm. Well, I guess Mariner's GM was like, thanks. And we got a Junior Fernandez autograph. Cardinals. Cascade and Sage with that one. I think I'd go like three thinner chains at varying lengths. You, you said you can't mix the uh, metals, right? Because I, I said know. you do mm -hmm. gold, and, gold and silver or gold and platinum. I mean gold on gold on gold. Okay. Come on. Gold on gold on gold. Joe's a traditionalist. All right.
Joe P, what'd you say to Sean? What happened? No, you didn't upset me, Joe. You're good. Here's you, Trevor Story, Red Foil. I just... I've just seen little, little back and forth go like that in the chat before. And I decided, uh, you know, I cut it off before it got any further. Everybody's Instagram good. Instagram live is down, so we're not live on there yet. Yeah. All right. It's James Marvel. Oh. <laughs> You gotta cool it with that talk, Joe P. Oh, that is numbered. 32 out of 50. I think as our audience grows, I don't think everyone's gonna understand or appreciate your, your level of humor. <laughs> We're just getting too big now, Joe. Back in the day, if it's just, just a small crew, they get it. Joe P, grumpy, grumpy, grumpy guy, grumpy Joe. Doesn't like any break. That's the thing. It's like, I wonder how many times whenever Joe's like in I the think, chat and you're I talking think, to him. I think people don't get it. And you're like, Joe, there's not a break you're going to like. There isn't. It's not going to have too many boxes. He doesn't like any break. It's not going to have enough boxes or it's going to have too, too many, many, too few, it's random too team, expensive, you want, you not pricey enough. <laughs> like whenever you talk to him like that, I'm like, I wonder if people are like, God, Joe really hates that. <laughs> no, 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 I don't. I'm teasing him, but, but I don't know. Not everyone gets it though. There's Aristides Aquino. He just got called up recently, I think. I saw him in the lineup. I like the elephant hat on AJ Puck's card. Although, yeah, with Joe, Joe's actually been on a decent streak. He's had a couple nice breaks. A few nice breaks. Andres Munoz for the Friars. That's going to go to Jason Price. Is that going to be a race to the finish for the Dodgers? How close are they? Race was finished as soon as the, the, the Padres made all those trades. Yeah, well. I mean, wrap it up. Can't just, it's not always quantity. It's about quality. Did they get the quality? They got quantity, that's for sure. Did they get the quality. As Dr. Jerry Buss of the Lakers used to say, it's better to have what's better, one big diamond? Or five smaller diamonds. It's always one big diamond. And that one big diamond, Mookie Betts. Dodgers did all their did their work already. So maybe the Padres got a bunch of smaller gemstones, but if you're impressed by that, then you should rethink your engagement ring plans. <laughs> but honey, there's five small diamonds in here. There's five of them. <laughs> I'm not gonna let Rachel watch when you're, when you're five playing. of them. No, just get one big ass one. That's what you gotta get. Come on, don't you know? Jeez, so that's that's why Sean's impressed by the Padres. There's a lot of little diamonds. They look great. There's so many of them. Bo Bichette. Nice red foil for the Blue Jays. Capola. Well, that, that's what the Dodgers did, Derek D. We got, we got a few big old diamonds surrounded by a bunch of other smaller diamonds. Man. Ooh. There's another Luis Robert, White Sox, Aaron Pettit. There's Brendan McKay. Sam Hilliard, Red Foil. There's Alex Bregman, Stadium Club Chrome, not numbered. Brock, oh, sorry, Brock Burke. Brock Burke, Black Foil. I think this is our last spot. There's a last autograph. John Means, business. I wonder if he has any relationship to Natron Means. Remember Natron Means, Sean? Oh, okay. uh, dude, Sean's I, a Chargers I, fan. I pulled his, uh, his auto the other day. Did you really? Out of uh, Certified. So cool. Oh, wow. So cool. Orioles, that goes to Aaron Pettit. I didn't know Natron Means had autographs. Okay. That's pretty cool. I might say bad things about the Dodgers all the time, but this Mookie Betts card is pretty yeah, incredible. I know. I love that Mookie Betts card. That is pretty incredible. I don't know what event that was. <clears throat> that's, a normal and there's a, that's a normal Tuesday in Dodgers land. <laughs> nice. Kyle Hendricks, the professor to 25. That goes to Ryan H. and the Cubs. It's a nice break for Ryan H. Got that train whistle going. 
All right, that's it, folks. I'm going to do a recap in just a second. Right there, it's not going to mess you up. All right. These are other cards. I might need it to build a few monster boxes. I couldn't find any. Yeah, yeah, that's all. All right, thank you, sir. All right, and the final box hoppers. Can these be autographed box hoppers? I don't know. But there's a nice Bo Bichette. What a great shot. Yeah, pretty nice. Will Clark, Will the Thrill. There he is. It's a nice vest right there, Will Clark. Look at that. Oh. It's like you're just thinking, oh, that's just a, a plain kind of gray taupe sort of suit, right? No. You got to splash that gold right there. That's a show vest right there, ladies and gentlemen. Jeez. Good show vest. wonder if he rented that. What? No, he, he, owns, he owns that. <laughs> My cousin hits lefty, and he kind of has like a sort of a Will Clarkish kind of batting stance. All right, back here we got Jacob Degrom. A nice shot right there too. What is this? The the Chicken Way Fair? What is that? Chickens Way Fair? What what is that? Uh, so it's New uh, York people. Chick Fil A sponsored. Falcon. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see the Chick-fil-A logo right yeah, it's there. Chick right. It's Chick-fil-A sponsored. All right, album. there you go. What? Oh, I know King's Hawaiian. That that bread's pretty good. I know Corona Extra Beer. What is this? What's RTS? Uh, that's SNY. That's their I only know TV RTJ network. Run the jewels. All right, and we know Coca-Cola right there. So Mets. That goes to Raymond L. And the last one. Do they still have Big Mac Land in St. Louis? No, I think they took it out once he left. Oh. Last one is taking it to the max. Old two eyes. Max Scherzer. All right, that's a great shot of him right there, too. Nice one. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was your break. That was 16 box. Pick your team two. Brand new 2020 Tops Stadium Club Baseball just dropped today. We got a couple more cases in the shop. So get into it. Don't miss out the next time. So a lot of nice autographs here. Big Mac Land is still there. Love that. Wait, isn't it Ack Land? Maybe didn't they lose an M at one point? Uh, somebody hit a home run into it, knocked out the light in it, and remember oh, they, didn't, I see. Like, they didn't replace it. They took the ball out. I forget who it was. I think they gave the M to somebody. Oh, it's all coming back to me now. I thought they took it down after that. Um, there's the. Uh, what is this? The Insta Vision kind of relic? No, piece of his card in there, or something like that. The Mariners had a nice handful of autographs from Kyle Lewis's, Dan Vogelbach, Zach Gallen, and that nice one of one Nico Horner is still is uh, really cool, right there. That went to Ryan H. and the Cubs. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I will see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.